Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek with Moist Sauce Productions and today we are going to talk about a little thing called torque steer and more particularly torque steer in the Focus ST and so how Ford decided to use or do our deal with torque steer was mainly by using brake vectoring. So uh, a lot of people can use different things or a lot of people have tried different things, reducing the amount of boost in first and second gear. The formula really hasn't been found, you know, what the best way of doing it is, but I'll show you how bad the torque steer is in the Focus ST. A lot of cars like the GTI, the Fiesta ST, and the Mazda Speed 3, those are those are cars that really have this issue, uh, mainly because they have more torque than, you know, like a Honda Civic Si. This is with traction control on, so we'll see how bad it is here. So we're in first here, right around 15 miles an hour. So traction was pretty bad there. Uh, seconds, 4,000 RPM. So that's pretty bad. <laughs> These people are probably like, what is this guy doing? So yeah, not so great. Um, but it's it's pretty violent when it when it goes. So so that was fourth gear, right around uh, 2,500 RPMs. <laughs> so again, 2,500 RPMs fourth gear so it's not too bad when it hits boost that's basically when you get the real issue and not just that but around turns too um, that's where you get the issues where people don't really like it because when they're trying to drive straight keep it in a straight line then you get these issues where the wheels sort of pulling out of your hands because you're trying to steer and the power is going down to the same wheels, which is why people start talking about wrong wheel drive, different things like that. We'll take traction control off and see what happens now. <laughs> All right, we're at second gear, 2,500 RPMs. We're about 21 miles an hour. <laughs> the wheels are just spinning. Uh, it's raining out if you couldn't tell and sometimes you just don't get the best situations but we'll deal with what we have oh, Jesus. second gear so it's basically very prevalent throughout the first you know four gears fifth and sixth not so much and really fourth not that much either it's just when you hit those high peaks of boost like it's just gonna go crazy out just because the Ford Focus ST and the Fiesta ST have open differentials you can check out this video here 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 maybe here It's, it's honestly just a physics thing where essentially, you know, you're trying to put power to the ground and you're trying to steer with the same wheels as well. And yeah, that's, that's just what happens. Um, and that's the major difference between what rear wheel and front wheel drive can do. Um, limitations of front wheel drive, that's why a front wheel drive can only really get so quick. A really good upgrade to a car like the Focus ST, the Fiesta ST, to sort of litigate and, and get rid of torque steer is a limited slip differential. And it's really just to get the power down and, you know, to make sure traction is getting down and essentially what what a limited slip differential will do is instead of torque steering and having the car go left and right without you actually moving the wheel, the car should go fairly straight. Second gear and first gear are probably the worst. Like first gear, it's basically like wheel spin and wheel hop. <laughs> Pretty 
first gear is the worst. <laughs> And like, I don't have problems with this at all. I think it's just kind of goofy and kind of fun. It's very boy racer-ish. And, you know, these cars have a lot of it. And, you know, if you haven't seen the Mazda Speed 3 versus the Focus ST that Motor Trend has done, you should watch it. Carlos Lago goes insane on that thing. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's really fun and you know some people love it some people hate it I don't really have too highly of an opinion about it I don't I don't think it's terrible but I also don't really like it especially on a track when you're trying to very like narrowly um, skim lines and you know it's definitely not ideal when you're talking about being on the track if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video feel free to give it a thumbs down if you like the content if you like my personality subscribe to the channel if not maybe we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching